good morning my dear boys and girls today third we are completing with the 13th chapter the last section we are discussing chapter 13 manufacturing industries part 6 today two topics we are discussing that is one we are doing the revision of the whole chapter oral revision then moving to the important map already we have done that's also a revision and finally i am having a small question section for you all objective questions i am having you will be writing the answers in the notebook along with the question you will be writing and the answer key i will be sending in the next lecture yes come to the textbook page number 103 chapter 13 manufacturing industries in the first section we have discussed about industry what is an industry the process in which man can change the natural resources into usable conditions according to his intellectual, cultural and economic capacity is called a industry. Now, what is the importance of this industry? Industries, it is the, industries are known as the backbone of the nation's development. The existence of nation depend upon on the development of industries many countries have improved because of industries uh, manufacturing industries contribute about 29 percent of the national production of india now industries are classified on the basis of human labor ownership and source of raw material here you will be able to see human labor ownership and source of raw material Human labor we can divide into large scale industry and small scale industry. In large scale industry we require everything in large machinery, amount of resource, amount of human beings etc. Large number of people, large number of resources, huge quantity of resources we require. But come to small scale industry, we require only small requirements. We are having less number of people compared to large scale industry, less num uh, amount of resources, everything we are having less in number. Now come to the ownership, we are having four types of ownership that is public, private, collaborative and cooperation. Now third point is source of raw materials according to that we have divided into two that is agro based industries and mineral based industries agro based industries means industries which are based on the raw materials obtained from agriculture for example cotton textile industry silk textile industry jute wool sugar paper etc are examples of uh, agro based industry now come to mineral based industry we are having resources which we are requiring from minerals resources are or raw materials are from mineral based items like iron and steel industry aluminium industry copper chemical fertilizer cement etc now in detail we have discussed each and every one in our lecture now Next point is transportation equipment industry. In transportation equipment industry, we have divided it into four that is roadway, railway, waterways and airways. In roadways, for example, in the manufacture of road vehicles, uh, we are having trucks, bus, car, motorcycle, cycle, etc, etc. And India ranks fifth in the world in the production of commercial vehicles today we are uh, exporting vehicles and at the same time the spare parts of the different foreign uh, countries are also we are exporting to other countries now come to railway we are having we will uh, railway services railway manuf railways manufacture the equipment of its own requirement by itself for example railway engine railway passenger coaches goods coaches etc are we are manufacturing in our country in our country we are having three types of railway engines like example steam 
engine, diesel engine and electric engine. Uh, the steam engine which was the old one we are now we are using only for heritage trains in tourism purpose only. Diesel and electric engines we are producing at uh, uh, Chitaranjan locomotive works in West Bengal. Diesel locomotives we are having at Varanasi and Tata locomotive works at Jamshadpur. Passenger coaches we are manufacturing at Perambur, Bangaluru. Kapurthala and Kolkata. Now come to the ship building industry that is waterways. Ship building industry we, there was an ancient industry in India ship building industry. We are having ship building centers in the modern style we are having at Vishagapatanam, Kolkata, Kochi, Mumbai and Marma Goa. Now the fourth one is aviation industry or airways. Uh, for that aircraft building units we are having in Bangaluru, Kapu, uh, Korakput, Nasik, Hyderabad and Lucknow. We are building aircraft uh, which for our helicopters and fighter planes for our country's use only, for our uh, safety use only. Uh, we are not having uh, not yet started the building of aircraft for passenger traveling. Still now we are purchasing from other countries. Now the next point is electronic industry. Actually we our radio set and telephone industry was established in India in 1905 under the um, Bharat Electronics Limited that is BEL. It was established in 1956 in Bangalore. Uh, they started manufacturing the equipment for Akashavani and weather department. Now, but the condition has changed drastically. Now, we produce various electronic equipments in collaboration with the ISRO, ISRO. Uh, now, India is having, the, uh, we are having maximum our electronic industry is concentrated in Bangaluru, in Karnataka. Bangaluru it is known as the electronic capital or another name is it is known as the electron it is known as the silicon valley of India uh, as we are having maximum number of electronic or MNCs electronic industries are located in Bangaluru. Now all these things we are having now what are the result of this type of industries? Industries are the backbone of the development of the country that we have discussed. Now, because of this, what is happening to our country, whether we are doing it in a proper way, industrial pollution and environmental degradation that also we have discussed. Industrial production has not worthy contribution in the economic development of the nation, but because of industrial production, Pollution and environmental degradation has started to a high level. So, mainly we are having four we are having four types of pollutions that is air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, and noise pollution. Industries have polluted our water, air, land, everywhere. So, it is the duty of a citizen of India to make our country to help to remove from this type of uh, degradation that is the duty of environment to help the environment to in a protected way that is the main duty as a citizen what are the different methods we can do for preventing pollution also we have discussed for example we can reduce pollution by selection of the quality equipment and fuel Another one we can uh, reduce through with the help of filter, scrubber, precipitators, etc. We will be able to reduce air pollution. In water pollution, we can prevent by releasing industrial waste after proper treatment. Industrial water can be purified after that we can use it again or we can reuse the water. With this, we come to the end of this chapter. We have discussed all the question answers in all the previous videos. Now just as again we are revising the map 
which the chapter is having a weightage for map also map marking now we are moving to map marking see here we are having a map of india here we are supposed to mark the maximum production of the items which i have asked in the map itself we are having index box i told you in the previous classes marking index is compulsory in marking a map so with pencil please mark the place where maximum iron and steel manufacturing or iron and steel production is occurring or in our country where is the iron and steel maximum iron and steel is manufactured in our country for that you may please see maximum we are having at jamshedpur hmm? so you are supposed to mark that bilai rurkala haura durgapur uh, bokaro these are the place where maximum iron production iron and steel production is done in our country now come to the woolen textile industry for woolen textile industry we are having maximum it is produced in shillong then uh, bikaner in rajasthan then ludhiana amritsar uh, dhariwal in punjab then moving up srinagar then in ahmedabad also we are having jamnagar also we are having maximum production of wool then mumbai also uh, then salem here also maximum wool and textile industry is there now come to cotton textile industry we are not going anywhere we are directly going to ahmedabad for marking maximum production of cotton then uh, we are having jute textile industry uh, for jute textile industry also i am taking you directly to bengal west bengal see there we are having the maximum jute production <coughs> now come to silk textile industry in silk textile industry as i discussed that is ludhiana amritsar srinagar they all are maximum silk textile uh, then uh, bangaluru karnataka salem uh, they are the maximum leading producers so this place is madurai coimbatore uh, they all are the leading place in silk industry madurai coimbatore uh, bangaluru then um, they are the leading producers of silk okay so with particular symbols you can mark this next question on the map of india mark the place where maximum production is recorded for example the first one which i asked you is sugar manufacturing or sugar production where is maximum sugar produced in our country in sugar production we are having kolapur solapur uh gujarat is also maximum sugar producing mp madhya pradesh we are having maximum sugar production then come to paper production industry uh, for paper production we are having our maximum paper production in maximum paper production we uh, we are having in andhra pradesh maharashtra west bengal odisha karnataka and uh, uh gujarat madhya pradesh they all are maximum paper production industries now come to the chemical uh, production in chemical productions we are having we are not uh, we are having gujarat leads in the country in chemical industry so we are not going anywhere we are directly marking in gujarat Uh, in gujarat we are having ahmedabad vadodara angleshwar bharuch etc so you can mark gujarat for paper manufacturing now moving to the third question uh, that is chemical fertilizers for chemical fertilizers we are having the maximum chemical fertilizers uh, the first chemical fertilizer was established at ranipet in tamil nadu so you can mark rani pet this this is concentrated in gujarat tamil nadu up punjab and kerala chemical fertilizers now moving to copper 
copper uh, refinery or copper smelting. Uh, for copper, the first refining unit of copper was made at a Ghatshila in Jharkhand. So, we are marking Ghatshila or a Jharkhand we are marking. Okay. Third map which we are having is to show the major production centers of below mentioned manufacturing industries. First, we will move to railway engine. In railway engine, we are having three type of railway engines that is steam, diesel and electric. Steam we are uh, engines are now used only for heritage trains or tourism purpose. When we are uh, discussing about engine, diesel and electric engines are produced at a Chitaranjan locomotive works in West Bengal, diesel locomotive works at Varanasi and Tata locomotive works at Jamshedpur. Okay. Now, third, uh, second question is railway coaches, where the maximum passenger coaches or railway coaches are manufactured. Uh, that we are having manufacturing at Perambur, Bangla, Bangaluru, Kapurthala and Kolkata. Now, third question, shipbuilding industry. Shipbuilding industry we are having at Vishagapatanam, Kolkata, Cochin, Mumbai and Marmagova. Then come to fighter planes or air which we are having only, we are producing only helicopters. So, it is concentrated at Bangaluru, Nasik, Hyderabad and Lucknow. And uh, the last one is electronic devices or electronic capital is Bangaluru. So, Karnataka, Bangaluru we are having. Hope uh, we have completed all the important points for map marking. Okay. Yes, my dear boys and girls, after marking the map in the notebook with pencil, just cross check the things which I have shared here. In the first map, see here I am having, I have marked all the iron and steel industries, cotton textile industry, woolen textile industry, jute textile and silk textile. So cross check it and make the corrections and make the correct answers there. Here you are having the sugar, paper, chemical and chemical fertilizers and copper smelting industries uh, with proper symbols we have marked here. Just check the uh, map where you have written with this correct one. And last one more map I am having that is explaining you correct idea about the railway engine, railway coaches, shipbuilding industry, fighter planes and electronic devices. So make it clear, study it properly and prepare for the examination. See here question, I, some questions I have prepared for you, fill in the blanks. Total we are having um, 16 fill in the blanks which I have prepared for you. You have to write the question and write the answer with pencil. The correct answer we will be discussing in the next lecture I will be sending the answer key. So write it with pencil in the notebook once you complete writing the question answers into the notebook and pasting the map. Second question is write true or false. I have written total 12 questions for you all from the textbook only. Write the question and write whether it is true or false at the side. With pencil check it and write with pens, pen after getting my answer key. Lastly, I am having answer in one or two words. Total 12 questions we are having. Last question, section 4, answer in one word. Total 6 questions only. Just refresh your knowledge and write the answers. I will give you the answer key in the next lecture. Till then, stay safe. Bye. Take care.